Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping back into some more Lobotomy Corporation. And you can see I've gotten us through that first day, but we are going, like, it's the day where we only had Punishing Bird, so nothing really happened that day. But we're going to go ahead and take this one. It's a good day. Are you still shy today? All right, so here's our new abnormality. We're going to go ahead and send Sadness over here. And I don't really know what to do, so I'm just going to go for Insight. Looks like it's going to be an easy one. It only uh, has 12, so that's fine. All right, guys, so we have today's shy look. This abnormality changes their facial expression at certain intervals. However, when faced with another person, their changes halt. From smiles to anger, they have five levels of facial expressions dubbed faces one, two, three, four, and five. No special circumstances came from phase three. Phase two showed an increased success rate and the employee healed SP when the work was successful. Phase 4 showed 150% damage dealt during work and the success rate declined. And Phase 5 showed 200% damage dealt during the work and the success rate drastically declined. Phase 1 showed half damage during work and the success rate increased. In addition, each time the work was successful, the employee's HP and SP recovered. We have the uh, today's expression gun and the armor the armor seems decent for red and white damage so that's probably a decent one to have as starting because i feel like you don't get a lot of black damage things early on that are too dangerous i mean this one does black damage but two to three is not so bad as long as you have their uh you know stats at a decent level we're gonna go ahead and read the abnormality story it's a good day are you still shy today one sunny day when they were sincerely drying the laundry in the yard, sadness struck suddenly. In our city, sacrifices for corporates must be highly praised. Honor for their deaths. No reason for you to cry, either. Rather, you should be glad. What's with that look on your face? The kind of facial expression isn't recommended in our city. Goodness, why are you making such a face? You're making the others feel gloomy, too. Please be more considerate. You don't live in this world alone, after all. You are, a very, you are very poor... And expressing your emotions. You must be quite shy. Hey, try to look more pleased. That way those living in the outskirts will be more envious of us. Put a bigger smile on your face. It's not that hard. Next time, try to express yourself more clearly. It's very important to express oneself in the society. One sunny day, just like that day they sincerely dried the laundry, they dried their own skin. Everyone was finally satisfied when they showed a bright smile. If they met people who asked what was wrong, they would respond, I'm just shy, that's all. Just shy. If one tries to look at the face behind the skin, the result will not be pretty. The space behind their skin is the only personal space they have left. Leaving it uninvaded is the last bit of generosity the city can offer. I also want to show you guys here, we have the today's expression, I, and I wanted to show you guys, Sadness actually has it here. Um, It'll be easier to see once Sadness is done doing the work, but yeah, you can see here, kind of creepy, um, but you know, it's also kind of cool at the same time, so that's that. Uh, it gives us a minus two SP, but success rate plus four and work speed plus four. I feel like it's a pretty good trade-off. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff from today's shy look, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next day. All right, looks like we actually have two choices to choose from. We have, this is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. Or, please eat my dreams. Uh, I like the forest one, to be honest. It sounds cool. All right, guys, I just remembered that somebody was kind enough to go ahead and comment the encyclopedia of the don't touch me button. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's on the Another Day, Another Grind video. It was episode 27. I went ahead and pinned the comment if you guys want to go ahead and check that out for yourself. Um, or if you even enjoyed learning about the encyclopedia, you can go ahead and like their comment or do whatever you feel. But uh, it says, A machine in the shape of a box with a tempting big red button. Old scribblings are written around it. They're mostly warnings such as don't push the button. Many employees file their temptation to push the button as so strong it gives them insomnia. However, as the number of employees claiming they are suffering from this temptation is quite large, a solution to this problem is being worked on currently. One of the most important aspects of defining an abnormality is free will. 
The abnormality is confirmed to possess a strong will to make anyone around it want to push it. Thus it is categorized as an abnormality. When the button is pressed, things that shouldn't happen, happen. Some say an apocalypse will befall. Others say rainbow colored light will shine down and unicorns will descend from the sky. And others say a bomb buried deep beneath the facility will detonate and reset everything. However, none of these rumors are confirmed. Caution is, ad is advised against this abnormality as it possesses the ability to evoke one's curiosity to press it. Sometimes it changes its shape in a cunning attempt to be pressed by mistake. Excerpt from an employee's testimony. When I snapped back to reality, I was standing right in front of the containment room, just about to press that damn button. I would have, if not for the other employees dragging me out of the situation. The employee is currently back on duty after going through these various tests and being diagnosed as normal. Although we did not order the employee to go to counseling as they are visibly... Although we did order the employee to go to counseling as they are still visibly express dissatisfaction for missing the opportunity to press the button i'm dead all right so that's cool they also said they hate jump scares it's keen ices 1972 uh hopefully i said your name right thank you for the comment i do appreciate it and uh we'll get back into this just wanted to make sure i read that out for you guys and i know people have been telling me to get more p what is that it's like an iron giant kind of dude, except he looks like he has some kind of thing he's grabbing out the back, and I don't know how I feel about that, because I feel like he's going to whack someone with it, but, uh, you know what, Sadness? How about you go in there and see what happens? But I know you guys are saying for me to get more people, and you're not wrong, but for now, I don't really need them. I guess I could and just level up, but I will be putting you guys in... Everybody that wants to be back in, don't worry, I will get to that point. Just for now, I was kind of... The thing about it is, if we reset... Okay, this isn't going well. If we reset, everybody that I put in is just going to go away. So I'm kind of waiting till I get to a point where I actually want to keep going. Now, depending on what this abnormality is, we might actually make some people... Um, because you can go to... Here, I'll show you. We're on day 8 right now. We can go to day 10, and then on day 11, it would do the memory repository, right? So if I make people on day 10, then they should stay in. So that's that. Okay. Yep, I, uh, I had a feeling that he was holding something behind his back to chop, and now he's collecting hearts. And... Like, I already know that Tatiana's gonna die, but we might as well go see what happens, right? This isn't gonna be pretty. Let's just restart the day. Tatiana doesn't need that. Okay, so here's the problem with this guy. I've gotten him... Like, I did one, t one go at it. And, uh... Warm-hearted woodsman. But it's cliff off counter is zero, which I would assume means that I will insta die when I go in there again. Um, I don't even remember what I did last time, but I'm assuming it doesn't matter because I think they'll just insta kill us. Yep. All right. Okay, so this time I went ahead and went for the managerial guidelines first that says when the work result was bad the cliff off the counter lowered and when an employee with temperance level three or higher completed the work it lowered as well so we're gonna go ahead and send tatiana in because they only have temperance level two so we're gonna try to get this done all right guys so here's the thing i'm gonna go ahead and read warm-hearted woodsman but I don't think I'm going to keep these guys either. And I'll give you my explanation for after we read. All right. So I've already read these two about the temperance level three. Uh, anything higher than that and it'll lower the cliff off counter. And when the employee enters the unit, when it's at zero, they'll immediately die. The cliff off counter is one, right? So if it melts down and someone goes in to do it, everybody starts at temperance level three now. So it's really just something I don't want. I went ahead and got the logging gear. 
and we'll go ahead and read the backstory of it. A mechanical abnormality whose humanoid body is composed entirely of galvanized steel. It holds a giant axe with both hands but does not show any activity, as if, as if it's unable to move. The friends were, were imperfect in one way or another, so they helped each other to fit what they were lacking and embarked on a journey to make their wishes come true. The Scarecrow wanted a brain. The Tin Woodsman wanted a heart. The Cowardly Lion wanted courage, and Dorothy wanted to return home. The one they thought to be the Great Wizard instead gave the Woodsman a lead heart. But you're a machine. That means you were built to serve humans. Don't you understand? Machines don't need a heart. Good job making it all the way here, though. Take this as compensation. Be sure to tell everyone waiting for you that your wish definitely came true. Some left with satisfaction. The friends departed and were never to be seen again. The, heart, uh, the hard, cold lead was depressing. The Tin Woodsman couldn't agree with this. In anger, he swung his axe through the wizard's heart. The warm heart was pulsating vigorously. He shoved the lead into the wizard's now empty chest. For the first time in his life, the woodsman started laughing at the sight and felt pleasure he'd never felt before. Grabbing a chunk of mushy hearts, he shoves it into his chest. There will never be enough hearts. Once a woodsman, he now fells people instead of trees. This is a forest, a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. A kind person would carry a warmer heart. When the heart is lost, the woodsman will fall to his knees in sorrow, clutching his empty chest, as if begging for the only thing he has left not to be taken. So that's depressing and also really messed up, but I think it's really cool as well. I'm going to go ahead and look at the ego items here that we got, which we got logging, which is probably down here. Okay, a versatile weapon made to cut down trees and people alike. Perhaps sharpening the axe was the only thing it didn't neglect. The blade is always shiny. Okay, and then we have the uh, logging armor, which you can see is actually endured and endured to red and black, and it's weak to uh, white, uh, white damage. So I guess we can see what it looks like on people because it's going to get reset anyways. And also, there's a heart here that Tatiana got for working with the Woodsman. So the stuff looks pretty cool. I mean, 15 to 21 damage, slow with medium range. That's just better than the uh, Lantern thing, but obviously it's an HE, so that's to be expected. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and reset here and continue till we get something I'm happy with, I suppose. All right, guys, we have a teardrop fell from the child's dewy eyes. As stars showered from the sky, the world falls into a slumber, trapped in an ecstatic lullaby. That sounds cool. Alright, so here we go. It's a uh, child with a Fortnite galaxy skin. Alright. Okay, we got some kind of thing above us. Not sure how to feel about that. Alright guys, now we have... This magical bullet can truly hit anyone, just like you say. Now, obviously, I would go ahead and read you guys this because I forgot I didn't already. Child of the Galaxy. Successful work completion will cause a healing token of friendship to be bestowed upon the employee. The amount of healing will vary in relation to the Child of the Galaxy's Cliffhoth counter. The Cliffhoth counter increases when Susan completed their work with the token. When an employee with the token worked with another abnormality, they received damage in proportion to Child of the Galaxy's Cliffhoth counter, which will then decrease. When an employee with Child of the Galaxy's token of friendship died, the Cliffhoth counter lowered by 4. When the Cliffhoth counter reached 0, all employees with a token died. And then we get the ego gift here of our galaxy. It's a necklace. Success rate plus 3, work speed plus 3, heals a small amount of HP at short intervals. That seems very good. And then we have a our galaxy little like melee weapon here. Medium range, speed normal, 9 to 15 black damage. And the armor seems good for a good like starter for red and white, if that's something that you guys actually need. And I will go ahead and read the story records. It was a night veiled in gentle mist. A barefooted child was looking at me. He was crying, his dreamy eyes filled with sorrow. The sadness hanging on his face stopped me in my tracks. He said he lost something precious, and when I offered to help, he gave me a big smile. 
A teardrop fell from the child's dewy eyes, as stars showered from the sky. The world falls into a slumber, trapped in an ecstatic lullaby. The night the galaxy descended with bare feet. Excerpt from the diary of employee who unalived. Okay, nice. It takes the form of a young boy with big eyes and skin that resembles the night sky. The child shows great enjoyment with talking and playing with others. He has a strong attachment to the act of making contract with another. If the child and an employee reach a certain level of intimacy, he will give a small pebble to the employee he now considers his friend. The employee will feel happiness and vigor while in possession of the pebble. However, this pebble will do more than just good if the employee happens to enter any containment unit other than his. If an employee in possession of one of the child's pebbles, the sign of their strong friendship, dies, he will show grief and sorrow for their loss. Excerpt from Employee's Diary I looked into the child's eyes for a while. I may have spaced out a little bit because his eyes were so dreamy. I wanted to pet him, but I remembered my co-workers telling me not to have personal feelings towards abnormalities. I told him my name. He repeated with wide eyes as if it fo he found out a big secret. Each time he called my name, it felt like it became something more than just a familiar thing I had been living with. When another employee entered the child's containment unit, he did not follow that employee and looked for me instead. I felt basically triumphant after hearing about this. The kid follows me, not you. The moment I entered the child's room, he jumped into my arms crying. When I finally sat him down, he shed a tear that became a small white pebble that fell into my hand. Please don't lose it and don't give it to anyone else, the boy mumbled. Do you like it more than you like me? The boy quietly asked when I arrived after finishing working with another abnormality. I asked how he knew what I was doing and he answered lightly, isn't it obvious? I know everything. Whatever you do, wherever you go. His gaze lay on the pebble, then he smiled. His eyes gave me goosebumps. I tried to rid myself of the pebble, but I realized it was beyond my control. I don't get what I'm talking about right now, but you still treasure it, right? The child smiles at me, smiles, 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 smiles. I can't get this pebble off me. My only hope is to wait for the child to tire of me. I'm waiting for that day, but will it ever come? People tell me I'm an excellent employee. Idiots. They don't know a thing. Shut up. I can't take it anymore. I can't escape him. I thought I was in charge, but the truth is, I was just a pebble in his hands the whole time. Whatever I do, wherever I go, I hear his whispers. I have to end it, but I'm not sure if I even can. I came from afar. I'm so glad to meet you. Become a pebble and let's walk the galaxy together. I hear his whispers and breath. Pitch black darkness follows, just like the night I met him. So that's interesting. Um, a lot of the abnormalities seem to have attachment issues. And that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're just going to go and figure out what this next thing is. It is a... Like, shadow rifle holding person with a cloak on. That seems pretty cool. Um, there's a request button here. Um, and I don't know how to feel about that because maybe it can suppress stuff for me with that request button. I'm not quite sure. We're just going to go ahead and do insight with sadness real quick and see how that goes. I don't know how to say that, so I'm going to call him Magic Bullet Man. Anyways, requesting aid from Magic Bullet Man is permitted. And it agreed to perform the request at the expense of 10% of our current energy. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this real quick. Magic Bullet Man. All right, and uh, requesting aid. Okay, uses 10% of the energy. However, the bullets that they shoot can penetrate and damage anything. Furthermore, the seventh bullet will not fire where you desire, so you must plan wisely. The cliff off counter lowered when an employee whose justice was lower than level four completed work with Magic Bullet Man. When the work result was normal, the cliff off counter lowered with a normal probability. When the work result was bad, it lowered with a high probability. And when it hit zero, they fired a bullet towards a random location. And I like it because it's repression. And that's probably one of the hardest things to level up, in my opinion. Um, the weapon seems awesome. Magic bullet, 20 to 22 damage, normal speed, and very long range. And then we have endured to red, white, and black damage. That's pretty good. And then the magic bullet ego gift. Uh, minus 5 HP and SP, but movement speed plus 10, attack speed plus 10, and max and minimum power plus 3 with the weapon from the same abnormality. So, 
That seems really good. The devil ultimately wished for despair. The despair wears down the mind and drains one's will to go forward. When one feels there's nothing left to go for, their soul falls down to hell, the devil's domain. This is why the devil finds it more entertaining to watch people fall to despair rather than to simply kill them. We describe it as selling one's soul to the devil. When a marksman received a gun from the devil, the devil proposed a childish contract. The last bullet would puncture the head of his beloved. The moment he heard that, he saw and shot all the people he loved. Then he told the devil, this magic bullet can truly hit anyone, just like you say. With the last bullet gone for good, the hunter traveled to numerous worlds. Sometimes he helped those in need or fought evil, but it was all done on impulse, not a gesture of goodwill or ideals. In one world, he was called a righteous hunter, while in another, he was a blood-stained gunman. One day, the marksman realized the devil no longer followed him. He pondered why, then realized that his soul had already fallen to hell from the beginning. The contract had already been fulfilled, so the devil had left. The marksman, now a devil himself, continues to pull the trigger to gather the souls of others. Just as the devil said, the bullets will puncture anything you please, forever. So that's pretty cool. I really like this abnormality. I love the design of it. I love the weapons. I can't say the name, but that's okay. Um, but it's backstory super cool. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and I'll see you guys in the next day. All right, guys, I have made it to the time where we're probably going to keep all these abnormalities. So I've decided, as you can see, to remake everyone. This is probably going to have to be the end of the video because it took me a lot of time to actually go through all my comments and remake everyone. But I want to make sure everyone's in here. So if you guys didn't make it in, if I somehow missed your name, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and read these here for you guys. We have Lynn, we have Cat, we have Kite, we have Illusion, we have Morskasolka, we have Brother, we have Sheepy, we have Hipster, Boss Under, Mate, Rovi, Ray, Yuri. I changed up Yuri's look a little bit, but I like it. I wanted to use that hair, and Yuri wanted long red hair, so I decided to do that. Riddler and sin in heaven i also changed sin in heaven's hair as well but yep that's going to be all of the people that i believe i got everyone and i'm going to be putting you guys in slowly over time so you guys will have to just kind of wait and be patient for your person to get in there i'm probably just going to go from the start and then work my way down but if you guys enjoyed that episode please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you guys next time have a good day guys